Welcome to Random Reviews. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up custom profiles for the running coach. So the first thing you do, go over to Samsung Health, scroll down to record your workout, click on workout. You see running coach there, you're going to click on the gear icon and you're going to click on target. These are the five and six are ones that I set up. The rest of these are all pre-installed. You scroll all the way down, go to add on phone. So now that we're in the screen, this is the screen that, um, you're, that will automatically pop up once you click on add on phone from your watch. You give this a name. We'll go for uh, about 10 miles. You can click on cardio or fat burning. We're going to ignore that for now. Distance or duration. 10. You can either click on the number in the center or click on these uh, the plus and minus to add half miles. Next, you go into how long you want to run for. So duration. This is how they determine, how Samsung determines the effort you're going into your run. So light, and you can see how the bar changes on fat burning up at, uh, where it says select workout type. When you click on the light, moderate, vigorous. So moderate, vigorous, an hour and 36 minutes. Um, a little bit slower than what I would consider vigorous. So I'm going to go into custom and put hour and 25 minutes, give or take a couple minutes, depending on what I am feeling like. So you click on cardio, you know, show it's going to coach you into working out at that pace. If you go into burn fat, it's going to coach you into working at that pace. However, I don't, I have those coaching uh, signals turned off because I'm not going to run that way. So once you have all of your settings that you want selected, you go to done. And this is still the screen on your phone. Uh, you, uh, I'm not going to take my phone running, so I'm going to leave this, um, leave the screen here and go back to my watch. So back on the watch, you're in the running coach option with the gear, click on target. Now that 10 mile option is available. This shows you all the different information about your run. Um, not again, not going to follow their warm up and cool down um, coaching options. But the benefit of this, of setting up a, your custom profiles, is that once you are done with your run, you get the advanced workout metrics recorded. You go into your log, and it's the run I did yesterday. Now you have you know, your heart rate zones, and then advanced running metrics. So there's asymmetry, contact time, flight time, regularity, vertical, stiffness. They don't give you a number for those. They give you, you know, good, great. I haven't gotten anything other than good or great. So I don't really know. I mean, I know what asymmetry means, but I don't really know what good means. If they gave me a number, then I could compare it to other runs, see if I'm improving or not. Um, you know, with contact time, all of these things. If they actually gave me a number, I would know. I could know if I'm improving or not improving or what I need to do. But because they don't, it's really to me just something nice to look at at this point. VO2 max. Um, 
and you can train to improve that if you want then your other workout data that they normally give so that concludes how to set up or customize a running profile in the Galaxy Watch 3 for your running coach um, in order to get those advanced metrics. If you have any questions, if I didn't answer any, some of your questions that you already had, uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you.